So now we're testing the face of the spindle. And as you can see, it's within one hundredth of a millimeter. To get it centered, so that's actually like six thousandths. So it's a little bit. Say six thousandths, so not too bad. And the inside, I have to test with a finger style indicator and uh, I hardly see any deflection, but I'll call it five thousandths or something. So, measuring to the face where the Track registers here <coughs> zeroing. Okay, there and then it's about yeah, it's about half uh, or five thousandths, half a hundredths. Okay, so about two tenths of an inch. I'm testing the the spindle runout, or rather the taper. I've established that the spindle is uh, round uh, within specs, and also actually that the taper measured here is is okay. Uh, I have reseated the taper bar, the test bar, several times, not noticing any difference. I also retightened the bearing so that um, either stiff or loose it doesn't matter really. And when I test from here, slide it in, it goes low, low, and low. And uh, if I go out again, I will see that it is not precisely within specs. The Schlesinger standard says that from here to the test point on the it should be 30 centimeters, and then it should be within three hundredths of a millimeter. And mine is, if I zero it on here, mine is going. Three, ah, uh, it went about two, so it's it's close to um, to being okay, but um, not entirely. And if I go in the on the low, uh, very low point here, and I go inwards, you see it's rising, but within one hundredth of a millimeter, which is accurate enough or at least it inspects but there's a little bit like if I go higher to the high point reset again see a little bit more but anyway and I also tested this with the sled so I have uh, longer support and I know this is now flat and um, ruling that very much out of the or pretty much out of the question and this is my contraption to rule out the possibility of bed wear uh, i have tucked the, the um, seated the, the saddle against the front bedway because i know that is the flattest unworn because of this was um, a little bit hollow so I have to grind that out, but anyway, to run the indicator on this longer saddle here, bridges across and evens out. And then when you measure with the test bar, you will then even out the, the eventuality of an error here. Didn't help that much, a little bit. 
I also moved the support over to the right hand side by lengthening the test um, indicator bar here. Uh, okay, then I will move it around here like this to test this way. Move it around, move you around. So here we are again, but now on the horizontal. And I have it, I have the, um, the saddle towards the front of the bed. So now I move the indicate the saddle. Sorry. See. And it's go high. It's going high on me. So it's almost six hundredth of a millimeter high. And again, I test the roundness. So almost three. Ah no, yeah, almost three. So between two and three. So a little bit too much there. And then when I push the with my hand on the indicator on the test bar, of course, you see the kind of deviation I get. So that's the kind of deviation you get and tool pressure and everything else comes into play. So it's seated a little bit like that. Um, I will try to reseat the um, the bearing and the bearing uh, houses again to see. Uh, I have tried to find out if I did something wrong with uh, uh, realigning the the bed strips again. I doubt it. It's everything seems to to measure up good. So I think actually just the way it is, with the taper being a little bit. Um, and maybe I have to regrind it a little bit because it was rusty and I just polished it up. Uh, but all in all, as a hobby lathe, okay.